Action TV is in possession of information on yet another attempt to make appointments based on political needs. The Sri Lankan saint Parangya Kotegyavaga is an apt expression to describe the actions of this sort. It is clear that the Ministry of Education, in the guise of making appointments to fulfill 3,868 vacancies for sports and physical training teachers in the country, are blatantly violating the Sri Lankan Teacher Service Constitution and attempting to make 3,868 unsuitable appointments. As revealed by Action TV on Wednesday, this letter from the additional secretary on control at the Ministry of Education states that 3,868 candidates who had passed six subjects, including Singhala and Maths, at the GCE Ordinary Level Examination are due to receive appointment letters for the post of Sports and Physical Training Teacher from Prime Minister Ranil Vikrama Singha. Action TV first revealed details on the qualification for these appointments on the 18th of September 2017. It is surprising that the Sports and Physical Education Division of the Health Ministry, which is responsible for the subject of health and physical education at schools, were left out of this entire recruitment process. Instead, the additional secretary on control and the additional secretary on school works are spearheading the process in securing these appointments. As per this letter dated the 2nd of April 2019, the additional secretary for school works had requested the zonal education directors to immediately inform him of the vacancies for sports and physical training teachers in their educational zones. This letter forwarded by the same additional secretary dated the 12th of April 2019 raised a few eyebrows. The letter states that as 3,868 sports and physical training teachers are due to be recruited, zonal workshops should be organized for them. The line ministry, which is due to recruit 3,868 unqualified sports and physical training teachers, are likely passing the contract to train these unqualified teachers to the provincial councils. The first voice against the burdening of provincial councils through illegal appointments made by the line ministry based on political affiliations was raised in the central province. There is no actual vacancy for the post of sports trainer because there is no such post at schools of the central government or provincial councils. When speaking about the financial requirements to pay their salaries, this could be beyond our capabilities. As Sarate Kanayaka, who opposed these recruitments, is currently the governor of the North Central Province, none of the 3,868 recruits will be accepted to schools that come under the purview of the North Central Provincial Council. If all other provincial councils follow suit, what will happen to the 3,868 teachers who received recruitment letters from the Prime Minister? Secretary to the President, this is over to you.